Hello, my name is Luis Hidio. This video is presented by the Office of Student Success. Today we'll be learning about cell division, so let's get started. Cell division is the process of getting two daughter cells from one cell. Now let's take a look at the cycle. Notice that there are two main stages, the interphase and the mitotic phase. The interphase is split up into three subphases called G1, S, and G2. During the G1 phase, the cell is growing, synthesizing proteins, and producing organelles. During this phase, the centrioles begin to replicate. For cells that divide quickly, this phase can last anywhere from minutes to hours, but cells that divide slowly may stay in the G1 phase for days or even years. During the S phase, the cell continues to grow, and the DNA is replicated. To ensure the two cells resulting from division will have identical copies of the genetic material. The last subphase of interphase is G2. This stage is generally brief. In this phase, the cell continues to grow, enzymes and other proteins needed for division are synthesized and moved to the proper locations within the cell. Remember the centrioles that began to replicate in G1? By this phase, the replication is complete. Now the cell is prepared for division. It has grown to the appropriate size, it's doubled its genetic material, and produced enzymes and proteins needed for division. The cell enters the mitotic phase. The mitotic phase occurs in two major overlapping phases, mitosis and cytokinesis. Mitosis is defined as the process of dividing the nucleus into two daughter nuclei. Cytokinesis is the process of splitting the cytoplasm in one cell, creating two cells. Mitosis is divided into four subphases. At the beginning of the mitotic phase, or the prophase, the chromatin condenses and forms chromosomes, two sister chromatids held together at the center called the centromere. Meanwhile, the nuclear envelope dissolves around them. During metaphase, the second phase of mitosis, the centrosomes, each consisting of two centrioles, have migrated to opposite ends of the cell while the chromosomes align in the middle. During anaphase, the daughter chromatids of the chromosomes are pulled apart and now called chromosomes themselves. The chromosomes are pulled towards opposite ends of the cell. During the telophase, the chromosomes reach the opposite ends of the cell. They uncoil and become chromatin once again. Nuclear envelopes form around them, and for a moment, the cell has two nuclei. Cytokinesis completes the division of a cell by splitting the cytoplasm to form two daughter cells. Along the middle, a cleavage furrow appears and pinches the cell apart. This process began in, began in late anaphase and continued through and beyond telophases. Now the process of cell division is complete. Two nuclei and two cells have been formed. Depending on the cell type, each new cell can now enter the interphase and grow until it can divide again. This video has been presented by the Office of Student Success.